There, said Ruthie. Them's the toilets. I seen em in the catalogue. The children drew near to one of the toilets. Ruthie, in a burst of bravado, boosted her skirt and sat down. I told you I been here, she said, and to prove it, there was a tinkle of water in the bowel. Winfield was embarrassed. His hand twisted the flushing lever. There was a roar of water. Ruthie leaped into the air and jumped away. She and Winfield stood in the middle of the room and looked at the toilet. The hiss of water continued in it. You done it, Ruthie said. You went and broke it. I seen you. I never, honest, I never. I seen you, Ruthie said. You just aim to be trusted with no nice stuff. Winfield sunk his chin. He looked. He looked up at Ruthie and his eyes filled with tears. His chin quivered and Ruthie was instantly contrite. Never you mind, she said. I won't tell on you. We'll pretend like she was already broke. We'll pretend me ain't even been here. We ain't even been here. She led him out of the building. The sun lipped over the mountain by now, shown on the corrugated iron roofs of the five sanitary units, shone on the grey tents and on the swept ground of the streets between the tents, and the camp was waking up. The fires were burning in camp stoves, in the stoves made of kerosene cans and of sheets of metal. The smell of smoke was in the air, tent flaps were thrown back and people moved about in the streets. In front of the George tent, Ma stood looking up and down the street. She saw the children and came over to them. I was worrying, Ma said. I didn't know where you was. We was just looking, Ruthie said. Well, where's Tom? You seen him? Ruthie became important. Yes, ma'am. Tom, he got me up and he told me what to tell you. She paused to let her importance be apparent. Well, what? Ma demanded. He said, tell you... She paused again and looked to see that Winfield appreciated her position. Ma raised her hand, the back of it, toward Ruthie. What? He got work, said Ruthie quickly. Went out to work. She looked apprehensively at Ma's raised hand. The hand sank down again, and then it reached out for Ruthie. Ma embraced Ruthie's shoulders in a quick, convulsive hug, and then released her. Ruthie stared at the ground in embarrassment and changed the subject. They got toilets over there, she said. White ones. You been in there? Ma demanded. Me and Winfield, she said. And then, treacherously, Winfield, he bust the toilet. Winfield turned red. He glared at Ruthie. She peed in one, he said viciously. Ma was apprehensive. Now, what did you do? You show me. She forced them to the door and inside. Now, what'd you do? Ruthie pointed. It was a, it was a hissing and a swishing. Stop now. Show me what you done, Ma demanded. Winfield went reluctantly to the toilet. I didn't push it hard, he said. I just had a hold of his, of this here, and the swish of water came again. He leaped away. Ma threw back her head and laughed, while Ruthie and Winfield regarded her resentlessly. That's the way she works, Ma said. I seen them before. When you finish, you push that. The shame of their ignorance was too great for the children. They went out to the door and they walked down the street to stare at a large family eating breakfast. <laughs>